What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Mo. Yeah, Ben? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center. But I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? There's going to be an ambush. Ambush? Who's ambushing who? Not sure, but my gang's involved. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. I nominate that as least offensive of show. Ouch. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Not a bad version, really. Can't get up there.
That would make a good mailbox post. In hell. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. <clears throat> Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes! Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. I'm not putting my lips on that. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. <sighs> Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminating. Like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. 
Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying. And he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Ripburger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. <laughs> Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is bullets. <sighs> yes. Now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the memo. Maybe I beat them here. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open, no film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. <laughs> 